Are you curious how to make an interactive notebook that even has clickable and typeable post-its? Stick right here as we learn how. The example I'm using today is for a reading interactive notebook that has multi-pages, links on different tabs, and even post-its. Although today I'm showing a reading interactive notebook, you can use this for truly any part of your day. The first thing I'm going to do is create a new activity and add a template and choose drawing. From here I'm going to set a fun background and I'm going to add in two different shapes, the rounded corner square and the normal rectangle. I'm going to use the rectangle to put my backdrop for the notebook, make it about that big and we'll push it to the back. And then I'm going to use the rounded corner square to put in the student workspace. Let's change that to white so it really pops against the backdrop. I'm going to copy the shape, command C, command V, and then change its color, resize it a little bit, and do that two more times for all my tabs. So I have everything set up this way, now I'm going to add my text. This first page is all set up, now let's copy it two times. I want to start with three pages because it's going to allow me to easily put links in and then duplicate and copy those to make this template come together really quickly. The first thing I'm going to do is set up my tricky words page. So this is the page I'm going to designate to be that. What I'm going to do is just kind of do some color choices and make some choices that are going to make this look like it's a tricky word page. Let's change the text color to be a dark purple. And I'm going to change my tab color to be white. So I'm reversing the colors on this specific tab so it looks like this is where you are. I'm going to copy that same thing for the glossary. We're going to make the words glossary dark purple. And we're going to change the tab to be this nice white color so it really pops. Okay. The next step I'll do is to link all my pages together. So I'm going to go to the Tricky Words title and link it to the Tricky Words page which is number 2. The glossary I'm going to link to page 3 since that where that page is. And the next page I'm going to link obviously to the next page. Now this is an option that's separate from 2 or 3. I want to make sure I choose next so that this goes specifically to the very next page. What I'm going to do is copy this whole text box and I'm going to copy this one to all of the pages so that this makes uh, all of the links kind of stand exactly in the same place. It's using the same text box, all the links still work, next, next, next. It's all good to go. I'm going to also copy glossary and copy this one onto the empty glossary page and tricky words and copy that onto the empty tricky words page. So all of our pages are now all linked together and everything is going to flow seamlessly from suit is just clicking the links. Before I make copies of the pages, I want to add post-its on these specific pages. I'm going to go to the T tool and just add in one space to make our post-it. After I have one space, I'm going to pull down my shape just like this, so it's kind of the shape of a post-it. And then I'm going to resize it however big or small that you want these to look. So with my text box, I'm going to change the style a couple little ways. I'm going to change it to a font that I think is going to make this text pop. I'm going to align it to the left, which will be easier for typing, and then I'm going to choose to fill this all the way in just like that. Now you can re-change this color to be whatever you want, it really doesn't matter. I'm going to match it to this overall theme and put it way over here, even off the screen a little bit. So I have my stack and it's not bothering anything else in the way. So I have everything set up and ready to duplicate, which is the very, very last step. I'm going to go here to this very top page and just go to the three dots and duplicate this. Now I'm going to duplicate this as many times as I want to. I can go up to 20 pages so I can have 18 copies of this specific page. What I want to caution you against is don't copy your tricky words or your glossary because these are going to be still linked no matter what page you go to. It's going to take you to those specific pages. I hope you found this video helpful. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe and don't forget to go to web.seesaw.me lessons to see what we're working on next. Thank you so much for watching.